Hello everybody, good day. This is Fred with Wentworth CCTV of New England and today we are coming at you with a video on how to adjust and set up OSD settings on Hikvision cameras. That would be the name on the display you see here as well as adjusting video settings as far as frames per second, video resolution, um, and KPBS bandwidth settings. We're going to cover all of that right now. All right, let's get into the meat and potatoes. Uh, before we start, please subscribe to our channel if you're watching this content. There is a red subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Also like our videos and give us comments if you're interested in this comment. We're always interested in ideas for future videos. Um, so yes, let's get into it. There is a configuration tab on the top um, toolbar of all Hikvision recorders. So we're gonna hit the configuration tab and we're going to get into the configuration subfolder. Here, both of the topics we are going to cover today um, are listed. Okay, you see audio video settings and you see image settings. Okay, so we are going to start with audio video settings. Um, bluntly put, this is the um, quality in which your camera will record. Okay, certainly if it's a 1080p camera, um, we want to pick 1080p here. You could also pick 10, uh, 720p, um, which is a lesser picture quality or a lesser resolution, and also 960H or D1, okay? Um, but we're going to stick with 1080p. Um, we bought a 1080p camera, and we want to see the results of a 1080p camera. Bit rate, you want to pick variable. Um, this will allow the camera to adjust with your network and bandwidth resources. Um, video quality. Um, is self-explanatory. It goes from lowest quality to highest quality. I generally stick with medium um, for interior cameras. Um, frames per second. Um, these can go based on the recorder um, from you know a sixteenth of a frame per second all the way up to 30 or 60 frames per second. Okay. I like to stay around eight frames per second. Um, bit rate would be the amount of bandwidth resources that your uh, camera is using. Keep in mind a kbps kilobit per second um, is there's 1000 kbps in an mbps okay or a megabyte. Um, that's how you know internet speed is rated. You might hear your internet service provider tell you you have you know a hundred mbps package or a 25 mbps package. That's your internet speed. Um, so you need to keep that in mind when you deal with these high, higher resolution uh, cameras. I would say on an interior camera, generally speaking, I use about 1200 kbps, which is 1.2 mbps. Okay, frame rate again for an interior camera, 8 is fine, and we like the medium video quality. Now, if we are dealing with an exterior camera, now we're talking about uh, a parking lot or a gate area in which you are going to try to capture license plates and vehicle vehicle descriptions like the you know the model of the car and stuff like that obviously you want these higher the reason for that is with these settings as they are on an interior camera there's not really a need to zoom a lot in a parking lot environment um, where you're trying to get that plate number with a normal camera you're going to want the highest resolutions available so if this were an exterior parking lot camera and we're trying to get plates with it, um, our video quality could be highest, okay? Our frames per uh, second would be highest, okay? Again, this recorder only goes up to 12, some will go up to 30. Um, you wanna pick the highest available to you. Same with KBPS, okay? We can go up to 4,000, 4,500, some recorders 6,000. Um, so you'd want a higher bit rate. And what this will do, as you zoom in on the object, um, and again, there's a link above for playback. We're not going to get into that with this video, but there's a link above on how to playback and how to zoom. Um, the higher your bit rate and frame rate and video quality, um, the tighter your zoom ability is going to be. In other words, as you zoom in that car on the car, the pixels are not going to separate and get blurry. The picture is going to stay tight and you're going to have a better chance to get that plate. Um, with these settings though, there is a, um, a downfall. It's obviously going to use more hard drive. Most places, you know, a four or eight channel recorder 
and NVR has, you know, only a two or four terabyte hard drive. As you go up in these settings, obviously the more hard drive you're going to use. If you're going to set this camera at 30 frames per second, it is going to use three times the storage as if it were set at 10 frames per second. So that needs to be considered as well. You only want to go high when you need to, and that needs to be on one or two of the exterior cameras. Um, the other downfall with these higher resolution settings is Hikvision is a cost-effective solution. It's a good solution, but it's cost-effective. And the phone app, um, experiences encoding issues when a lot of these cameras have the higher end settings. In other words, you'll see a lot of buffering. The phone app could freeze at times. Um, that's because it can't handle the bandwidth. Okay, so we want to keep most of these at a manageable frame rate. And again, manageable is going to be medium. It's going to be 8 or 10 frames per second. And it's going to be 1000 or 1200 uh, kbps. Okay, so that will cover your video settings. The image settings are where we are going to find those OSD parameters. Um, simply put, OSD is what you see on the screen here. Okay, it's your timestamp. Um, it is your uh, camera name. Okay, so we've enabled display name. We'd, we've enabled the display date. We've enabled display week. And this is where you would type your camera name. Okay, these are the front doors. So that's what we have. Um, you could also put the name of the facility um, with the text overlay. You can tell it if you want 12 or 24 hour format um, for your time. Most of the time, police, military, court, they want 24 hour time frame. Uh, the reason for that is it differentiates between night and day. If it's one o'clock, it's going to say zero one. Um, and if it's, you know, I'm sorry, one o'clock a.m. is zero one. If it's uh, one o'clock in the afternoon, it's going to say 1300. If you just have one o'clock and you're using a timestamp in court, they're not going to know if it's one in the morning or one in the afternoon. And, and thus the 24 hour format uh, is more useful, even if it's confusing to folks. Um, but these are where you set your OSD parameters. And of course, when you're done, um, you can save them and the recorder will reflect the settings. Okay, that covers video quality and image OSD settings. Hopefully this video was useful to you. Again, please subscribe if our content was useful to you. Um, we love the likes and we like the comments, uh, especially when it's in reference to future content. Uh, have a good day and we'll see you in the field.